Next to speak is Jason Ross, who blogs at drivemomcrazy.com. Love the name of that. Hi, I'm Jason Ross, and um, I'm the drivemomcrazy.com blogger. As well, some of you might have seen me um, PBS, This Emotional Life, and um, I'm going to, I blog pretty much about inspirational things because I'm an ultrasound tech, and um, I do cardiac and vascular ultrasound, and I just like to do this for free time to like just give um, the autistic community um, more positive feedback and um, but um, I feel that the blog community is really connecting well with the autistic community and um, this is a screenshot of my website um, and uh, the, the benefits of blogging I find for myself would have to be self-advocacy, inspiration, showing positive attitudes towards autism, and connecting the autistic community, and especially human rights, because, but I'll get into that later. Um, self-advocacy um, is a wonderful tool enabling an autistic individual to express how they feel in situations and having a voice on their own. And I feel it's, it's really helped me talk more to people and communicate. And it's even helped me at work too. Um, inspiration. Um, blogging helps autistic people build confidence. It helped me build confidence, <laughs> especially with a lot of different things in my life. Um, blogging helps autistic people strengthen their egos. Um, blogging by autistic people provides a better understanding to neurotypical people. And blogging inspires autistic people to realize that they are not alone. Because we're not. <laughs> and, um, oh. So the, the positive attitudes towards autism. Um, I feel we are people with a voice and feelings. We, and we have abilities to, we need to, a little push and can succeed. Autistic people are definitely a, on a truly a spectrum and along a continuum. Um, autistics have a unique minds just like anybody else. And we can follow our hearts to make our own path. Because I have, especially with the career choice I've made and everything. Um, Connecting the autistic community um, by sharing stories. We, sh we help each other out. We um, talk about different like meltdowns we've had or different um, um, ways to com communicate better. Um, we reach out and it's boosting confidence. Because that's the main goal we want. We want to boost our confidence up because we, we start out, um, we have no confidence at all. And as we grow up, we, want, we just want to make sure our confidence keeps on growing, growing so that, but not, not overly cocky. <laughs> um, and human rights, because definitely, Autistic rights or disability rights. Disability rights are definitely are definitely human rights, and the solutions to these human right problems are um, autistic pride and autistic self advocacy. And um, I believe that um, if we if we don't think of this as a way to communicate better than, um, than autistic people like myself would never succeed as much as we can and some of us are doing and some of us will do. Cause, and, but my blog is definitely 
I write stories, fiction stories, and inspirational things. Sometimes I put quotes, inspirational quotes I come up with. And sometimes I even um, write poetry. I love my poetry. Um, and sometimes I even put YouTube videos, songs that, that, songs that I like that kind of help people communicate. And, um, and that's about it. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I was talking to you before we got started. Mm -hmm. And you have a university degree? Yes. And want to tell people in what? Oh, I have, um, I went to CW Post. I graduated from CW Post in 2003 with a biology degree. But I really didn't. <laughs> I really didn't know, have any skills after that, and my mom really wanted me to um, do something skill-wise. So I decided, so my mom decided she, to research stuff, and she decided to um, go into ultrasound, she told me to go into ultrasound technology, because it, it follows my heart about with the human anatomy. Um, and so that's what I decided to do. I went to school and got my registries, and here I am. And uh, I also have gotten interested in like different psychology and philosophy things too. And so, Jason, you were telling me that you work four days a week now as an ultrasound tech. Yeah, four days a week. And you're actually interested in helping get the word out to people on the spectrum about the scientific tech fields? Yeah, because I, yeah, I really would, would like to start an ultrasound school to teach other people on the spectrum how to do ultrasound as well. <laughs> and I even came up with the name, but it's, you can read it on my blog. Um, it's, it's because other people have helped me um, there's a lot of people that helped me learn to do ultrasound, and all right. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I think it's cool to hear Jason talk and talk about how the blogging gives him a voice that helps him to communicate better in the job force, because I think there are different ways to find a, your voice to communicate, and right in front of people isn't always the best way, huh? No. So it, it's a nice way to give you practice on how to state your thoughts. Yeah. Excellent. Good job, Jason. Excellent.